Hello and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to take a look whether the 2020 Renault Zoe is a healthy drinker, as you can see she's charging, or whether she's a dripping slurper and losing battery capacity. I'll show you how you can check the battery state of health and how you can make sure that your Zoe is healthy or whether you need to go to the dealer to get the factory guarantee for the battery. Hope you enjoy the video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Let's go. My wife's Renault Zoe is now exactly three years old. As you can see, uh, she has driven almost 23,000 kilometers. Uh, yeah, very happy with the Zoe, but uh, she has the feeling that the range has gone down a bit. Um, back in the summer last year, she would get 300 kilometer range pure highway uh, home to work when it is about 20 degrees well we're now charging the Zoe and uh, it doesn't seem to be getting uh, above uh, 250 260 ish and we were wondering what's going on so in order to measure the battery state of health I purchased an ODB2 reader I purchased an ODB uh, reader from the brand ODB2 link which I'll link to you in the description below. I've also tested it and uh, wrote an article about it. But there are many other ones that you can buy. This one is an expensive one from the USA. There's also Chinese ones on Amazon that are a lot cheaper. They all do the same thing. This one has a bit more functionality and uh, the build quality is very good. Next to checking your battery state of health with this, you can also check if there are any error codes uh, from the sensors or anything if there's something with the computer and then you can reset these error codes So that you can continue driving if in the worst case uh, you have some computer error also ODB2 readers are very good to check whether your car needs repair maintenance or service at all and Whether a dealer is not trying to scam you uh, because yeah, you can actually see before you go to the dealer What's wrong with your car and what needs attention? Now I'll show you how to connect the ODB2 reader and how you can check the Renault Zoe battery state of health. The ODB2 reader connects via a Bluetooth app on your phone. In the 2020 Renault Zoe, the ODB2 port is right here. As you can see, you align it the other way around. And then you gently press it, the light starts blinking and you know it's a fit. Don't push too hard. When you see the lights and you have the feeling it's good, just leave it there. Now connect the phone. Now I'll show you how to use the car scanner app on your phone. For this you need to go to the play stall and install the app called car scanner. Here you see it, the blue logo. You open the app and I'll show you what to do next. No and then select the car that you currently have. The connection profile will download all the applicable statistics that you need for your electric car. So you can display battery state of health, temperature, statistics about the battery cell, how it's charging, etc, etc. So in this case, I recommend you to try the three different profiles. And if one of them doesn't work, just select the other one. In my case, I had to try both Phase 2 and R240. Eventually, the Zoe Phase 2 slash Kangoo slash Nissan EV worked for my car. Select it, you want to connect. Press the green connect button. And after you've pressed the button, you will see statistics popping up in the bottom uh, that uh, the ODB2 reader is starting to connect uh, to your car and to your phone. Once you're connected and you have ELM and ECU connection with green, go to all sensors. All sensors is an enormous list of all sorts of live statistics that you can view for your electric car. But we want to look for battery state of health. So press the filter button on the top next to the I circular logo and then type battery state of health or just type health and you'll filter out anything else. Now you've found DC battery state of health and as you can see here it's 91.2% for my wife Renault Zoe. I mean 91.2% for a 3 year old car with 23,000 kilometers on the clock 
Yeah, that sounds uh, absurd. Does it mean that you have now lost uh, 8%, 9%, almost 10% battery? It could be. And that's why it's very important that you measure this from time to time. And that when you go to the dealer, that you can point this out to them when they do maintenance on your car. Because, yeah, if somebody may have told you that it's normal for an electric car to lose 10% battery over the course of only three years, yeah, maybe you would have thought otherwise about buying it. But on the other hand, on the other hand, we've also seen that sometimes electric car lithium ion batteries can lose initially some power capacity and then uh, throughout the next years not lose anything or hardly lose anything at all. So what this number really means yeah, remains to be seen. Maybe they need to do an update of the um, battery monitoring system to get more accurate readings. But now you have, thanks to this ODB2 reader, uh, a very strong statistical tool in hand where you can show if there's something wrong with the battery pack of your car. And you can confront them with this and you can log it over time, save it and store it, measure let's say every three months under different conditions and see how this number uh, changes. And if you see that this thing is going to go down uh, or towards 80% for some reason, you may have a faulty battery and you're entitled to the uh, replacement battery pack. Yes, electric car fans and uh, Renault Zoe fans. Uh, is 10% range loss in three years time normal? Is it normal to lose 10% range, which is now instead of 350, 390, rather no more than 300? Is that normal? Uh, have you measured your battery state of health? Do you also use ODB2 reader? Have I done something wrong? Let me know what you think. Uh, yeah, please write it in the comments below. Uh, what's your experience with uh, battery state of health in the Renault Zoe and any other electric car? Uh, yeah, I'll be very happy to hear from you. Also, if you have tips how I can measure this more accurate, uh, please share it in the comments below. So also that other viewers and electric car owners know what to do and can address this to their dealers and uh, can get the factory warranty for the battery. Because if it's 10% after three years, yeah, what's it gonna look like after five years? Will it be still uh, très joli and uh, oulala with the Renault Zoe? Or will it be uh, merde and... Uh, uh? Let me know and uh, please subscribe to the channel. And I wish you a nice evening. Au revoir.